You got a YouTube channel or something? I do, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> I know, I'm serious about it. <laughs> Putting big candles in, I would think, wouldn't you? Dinosaurs, that's what he's into? No, that's what she heard. 
They are so cool. I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, where are you from? England originally. Yeah. How long have you been in Like nine years now. Oh, man, no so, thank you. Did you know? <laughs> I'm still holding on to the accent. Yeah. <laughs> you bet. Yeah, you do channel. I do. Yeah, it's about like garage sale, basically. <laughs> Finding cool stuff. Yeah. I tell you something. Well, these hats are like a big thing in the south. Oh like, yeah. There's a bunch of these like old t-shirts down there. <gasps> yep. That, uh, I need to go look at those. I love Kirby that kind of stuff. And the reason we put them on my mother was like, oh, mother was like, no, we don't have time for all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to see them. Thank you. Yeah, actually, right here in this basket. Oh my gosh, yeah, that is totally my up my alley. Yeah. That real old school Ben stuff. Amazing. Like and, it, and oh, and Coca Cola stuff like Ben and Coca Cola. Wow. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff. Like the old graphics and stuff. Oh. This, is, <laughs> this is a Marlboro uh, rain suit. Back in the day, you could, no you could cut, <laughs> cut the tops off the cartons yeah. and turn them in for like right points. Yeah, seriously. Can I see? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's so cool. So. But yeah, my husband's from here, so. So what's your YouTube channel? Um, so it's called The Poetry of Nice. It's a weird name, I know, but it's all just like about thrifting and garage sales and stuff like that. So like 90% of my house is thrifted. <laughs> I'll just, I'll really enjoy it. Wow, these are amazing. These are so cool. Yeah, that's kind of Wow. Like especially in Knoxville, obviously. Yeah. That old school Tennessee stuff. It's still fun we have. Yeah. People stay after uh, well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, it was I nice to meet you out. too. I would love that. If you, anything, if you do, say hi in the comments okay, yeah, where you met me. It's my wife. That's my cousin. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Well, that's all that we're talking to you today. No, she's got more. Oh, I already got the
Is that okay? Thank you yeah, so much. You didn't think it would sell? Uh, we had a, <coughs> no, we had one of those old vans with like a real high top on it. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. had a TV just like that in there. Oh, really? And we thought you know, back in the day that was like the coolest thing. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like, wow, we had, that was what we had. I thought we <laughs> They're so good for kids' rooms because when you have like all the Disney VHSs and stuff, like, they, they work. <laughs> of the clothes that are hanging up? Um, so like, the Alter the State things I would like to sell for like maybe like eight, like the, the dresses and okay. everything else. What about like the sweaters and stuff? Probably about like two. Two? Okay, cool. Thank you. I'll grab a couple and show you then. <laughs>
those are all free. Oh, are they? Oh, cool. In, in, that, in this container. This container. Right here. Oh, thank you so much. I'm ready if anyone has a second. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know how you want me to do it or show you whatever. Mm -hmm. I know I have a few little free things hanging out, but okay. um, so I got a shirt, t-shirt. How much were they? I think all the the shirts were a dollar each. Okay. So like two, two fifty. I got a couple of like little jewelry bits. <clears throat> yeah, you can have those. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. So what do you say you're This at? should be 250, okay. so 3. 3, so 8. I think he's a buck. Mm -hmm. 9, 10, 11, 12. The clothes I'm going to do last. Okay, he's so this would take us to 15 because okay. he's 3. 15. And then were these priced? They weren't, no. Oh. Hey mama. Yeah. Those are the golf balls, right? Yes. The golf balls, they oh. weren't priced. Yeah, just a dollar a ball. Okay, cool. So one, two, three, four, five. So that makes so now we're at twenty. That would be it, yes. <laughs> twenty twenty fifty. This bag. Oh. Oh, you've got some of my <laughs> I'll some let my you go through. Stuff. I didn't see a price then, on them either. Um they're pretty okay. used. You wanna let's just go with 50 cents. If that's Metal, okay, sure. Even. Toys were I'm free. so glad that you still have these. Oh, did you think someone said, was it yes. me the whole time? Well, I'm no, because so no, <laughs> another lady, another lady sat down and tried them on. Oh. And we didn't see her anymore and we didn't see the boots. Oh no, no, it's me. I had oh, them. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Bad. No, I was heartbroken for her. <laughs> oh no. She, she got these at Buckles. I wish I'd have realized what you were talking oh, about. Oh no, no, I'm glad, I'm just glad that you have them. Sure, sure. She got them at Buckles for like $200. Oh my goodness. I know. I wanted to show her. Okay. <laughs> You're so, 43.75. I think we have all of it, right? I think so. Let me show her to make sure she knows. Do you want to call it an even 50? Would that work or that would, would, we, would that be okay? Yeah. We're doing charity, so I will take any donation. You betcha. She had them the whole time. I'll get you. It was me. <laughs> I didn't realize either. Oh, no, I'm not. She did. All right. We were thinking, who hey, would stand for Oh, no. Oh, I, mean, I was over there saying, I'm so sorry that sucks, and it's me the whole time. <laughs> well, you're definitely not the one who, um, <laughs> who was trying them on. Yeah. But I didn't see her anymore. Yeah. So I thought she just took oh, no. I'm so glad that you had them. Okay, that cool. Makes me feel so much. Oh, we didn't do the clothes. You didn't do the clothes. Okay, cut those I'm up sorry. now. But no, no, you're totally fine. Don't Lena, worry. you're going to have to help me because these are yours. Okay. Except for that one. Were these two a piece? These? Yeah. They yeah. should be. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's really cute. I'm gonna leave these up to you. This one I got from Cindy. Oh, it's nice. How nice is that for fall? Oh, so fluffy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I saw those for two pieces. Okay, and I'll do this three. one for two. And then there was and two underneath. Two. Oh, so ten? Yeah. Do you have change? I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, no, we do. Yeah. Alright, thank you all so much. Sorry to make you work so hard in the no, morning. Right. <laughs> thank you. You betcha. Okay, we've been at this for no oh, gosh mm -hmm. all right i guess okay, i will do it in try. some rounds all right you guys so here comes the haul this rummage sale so i got there at about 7 a.m maybe like maybe like five past seven there was already loads of people there um, and apparently they were saying that people had been there with like flashlights and headlamps on and things like that so i was obviously just a little bit late to the game but it didn't matter i did really really well i spent a total of 60 dollars i think it was on all of this stuff and all of this stuff here so lots and lots of items for $60 so I'm just going to take you through them and show you each and every one of them so I'm going to start with this guy this guy he is in full working condition he is a Jemmy G-E-M-M-Y which is a good animatronic brand especially some of the older pieces um like I said full working condition he sings I think it's the 
I can't even remember now what it is. But it's, just, it's a song about a snowman. What can I say? Um, and he spins his icicles. They light up. He does his hat up and down. This is one of my best buys of the day. So I originally bought this. He was $1, by the way. I originally bought this because my family is insane for animatronics, my kids especially. Um, so I kind of always grab them when they're a decent price. We just bring them home and test them and see if they work and all that good stuff. Well, he's working, like I said. Um, but my husband sort of said to me, like, why don't you just look him up before we sort of hand him over to the kids? And I'm so glad I did, not to be mean to them. But he is worth like one fifty to 200 in full working condition he is worth quite a lot so i'm really really excited about that he was a great buy for one dollar like i said there's some recent sold i'll try and put some comps up on the screen and things like that so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about and not just take my word for it um and you'll see exactly what he's sort of going for right now so he was definitely a good buy um next i'm going to show you these so i got one two three four five these are brand new golf balls basically um so this is what they all look like. Like I said, I have five lots and I got them for a dollar a piece. So I'm either going to lot them up all together or I'm going to sell them sort of one at a time. I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, I think I should definitely make some money on those. Again, I'll try and pop some comps up on the screen and things like that. But definitely worth picking up at that price when they are brand new. Um, let's hop on over here. So I got one just like general t-shirt as you can see it's done in skinned um and this is a true vintage it's not super crazy old here is the tag but it is a single stitch um i'm not super good at dating these right now so i'm going to have to rely on my research and see if there's any similar designs but here i will show you exactly what it looks like there we go very cool and there's also some graphics on the back as well and overall it's in good shape um it is like no holes or anything like that so i think that was a dollar I also picked up one, um, which I think is vintage as well. Let me have a little look-see here. Aloha Republic made in Hawaii, USA. Yeah, I think this is an older one. Um, it's a men's shirt. I think it's an extra large is what I just saw. And I grabbed it because, not just because it's a Hawaiian shirt, because they don't always sell, but I liked the graphics. I liked the fact that it had presumably like volcanoes and things like that, and then like sailboats and stuff like that. So I think with those keywords, this one should do okay, especially in that sort of um, extra large size. Again, a dollar. This is an item I've never picked up before, but I saw, I think it was the Commonwealth Picker. If you're not watching this channel, you should totally watch it. It's really, really good, very informative, very entertaining. Um, and I think I've seen him pick these up in the past. So when I saw it for 50 cents, I decided to grab it and give it a go. It is an abdominizer. Mm, yeah, okay. And I think this is older. This is an older uh, piece or whatever, basically to assist you with sit-ups. But for 50 cents, obviously I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit and give it a wipe down. But it looks like a good sort of $30 or so. I, this guy was a little bit of a fail, really. He was only 50 cents. He's ever so sweet. Um, and he is a jointed teddy bear, which is something I often look for. Um, and he was an authentic Vermont teddy bear made in Vermont. So I was thinking that he may be worth something just because of those factors. But unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be worth very much. I may get sort of 5, 10 to 15 out of him. And like I said, he was only 50 cents, but definitely not sort of a home run piece. But that's fine. They can't all be that. <laughs> Okay, this was actually in the free bin. They had a bunch of free stuff there as well. So I just took a few items, a few toys for the kids and things like that, some transformers and whatnot. This is just a Coca-Cola apron, as you can see. I do not think it has any labels or dating anywhere. Although she did tell me that her husband had worked for Coca-Cola through his career. So it could very well be a slightly older piece. Definitely feels a little bit older, um, but it's in good condition. Like I don't think it's ever been worn or used or anything. So I may just pop it up and see if it sells on style. Right, this was kind of an interesting find. Actually, when I was talking to the guy, first of all, he asked me if I had a YouTube channel because I had my GoPro on at the time, which was totally fine. It's fun to chat to people. So I talked to him and I guess his wife about that for a little while. Um, but he asked me if I liked older stuff because he saw me looking at all the hats and I said, yes, absolutely. And so he sort of started bringing me some things, including all of this here, which was really exciting because it's totally like my favorite things to sell. So this one, it said a rain suit, size large, 75 sense adventure team marlborough and it is vintage um and inside is basically like a tracksuit so it's like the zip up jacket and the pants and obviously it still has the little bag and stuff although it is just a little bit dirty which is fine and i've seen them going in the range of sort of 30 to 40 dollars this was i think another item in the free box it's just like a little kind of uh I want to say apron, but it's probably not. <laughs> I don't know the correct word. I'll have to look it up. But again, Marlboro. A um, little bit of fading there. But again, I've seen them go in sort of uh, 15 or so on that. 
All right, this was another free item Houdini lever corkscrew. Now, I was I kind of looked at this when I thought that it wasn't free and I decided not to grab it um, just because they were going for sort of 15 with free shipping, which let me tell you, this thing is heavy. Um, but since it was free, I decided to grab it and just sort of maybe give it a go. I'm not sure yet. However, when I opened it up, it's a little bit sticky inside. So I think it's been used for something. Um, so I'll have to decide whether or not it's worth me cleaning it up. Worst case scenario, I will re-donate it to a thrift store down the road um, but definitely decided to just kind of like take a double check basically and see if it was worth anything since it was free. All right, these I was quite surprised with. So I kind of saw them there and they are Uggs and um, they have all those style numbers and things like that inside. They're oldest. They do not have the holo like the hologram uh, that tends to be inside, but I think they're in decent shape. Um, you know, there's a little bit of wear here and there and a little bit of wear to the uh, soles, but absolutely nothing that would like put me off buying them. Um, see, even the toes seem to be okay, but they're obviously the black sequins. They're very, very classic Ugg style. And and when I asked her how much they were, she said, oh, you know, they're definitely worn. So 50 cents. And this particular style with the black sequin seems to be doing pretty well right now. So I'm looking at sort of 30 to 35 for those as well, potentially. This was also in the free box. I don't think this is worth anything. It's just, it's a Coca-Cola bottle and it's from the 1994 Super Bowl. Um, I don't know. I may list it. I may just redonate that. I'm not sure. Sometimes I grab things from the free box um, so that I can research them later. But obviously, I would never dispose of them or throw them in the trash or anything. I would simply pass them along either to like a thrift store and donation or to somebody who could actually use the item. So don't worry. I'm not being wasteful or anything picking things from the free box. Um, I'm just seeing if I can put them to use first. And if not, I'll pass them along to somebody who can. Another free item that may go to my children. They have a few like new cars and stuff that they were giving away there. But this is all, I think it's Real Toy is the brand. They're all marked underneath and they're all a bunch of different kind of like NASA toys. Unfortunately, half of the spaceship, I didn't realize that was uh, missing. But they have like, you know, some planes that are marked with NASA um, trucks and all kinds of different bits and pieces. So I may just try and sell those as a lot since they're all similarly themed. This I was going to pay for, but she just gave them to me for free. Uh, it is a bunch. So I think there's six here of little rings and um, all different colored gemstones. And they're all marked 925 and they're all they're obviously tarnished and stuff. But like I said, they're all marked. Um, so, yeah. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these. I may just lock them up rah, all together. Um, but, you know, she let me have them. So I figured I could kind of experiment with those a little bit. All right. And... Two pairs of boots. So the first one here, the brand is, I kind of took a chance on these, but the comps look to be okay. You know, maybe sort of like $40 or so. Uh, they are JB Dillon. If you can see that in there, size eight. I think they're a women's eight. Um, and I thought they were kind of cool. Like they have the cross design and stuff. So they definitely have some fun keywords. They're obviously a little bit worn in, but in a good way, I think, for Western boots. So those were 10, which obviously a little bit pricier than some other items there, considering the Uggs were 50 cents. But it all evens out in the end, so it's fine. Um, and then there were these boots as well for $5. I really like the color contrast on these and all the studding and stuff. I think they're going to do really nicely based on style. Leather so again and these are corral vintage so i'm not familiar with the brand but again the comps looked really really promising as well and i think these are also a women's eight if i know these are an eight and a half this was a wild card and i will say there's some listed but none sold <laughs> So uh, I don't know how that's going to go, but I really liked it. It's a very sturdy, very well-made basket. Obviously, it's Village of Tobaccoville. Um, it was $3. It has a little bit of wear, but kind of in a cool way, I think. And then obviously the lid lifts and hinges and things like that. So I decided to give it a try. I feel like it's a really cute piece of like you know, sort of, I don't know, southern decor. I don't even know what you call it, like farmhouse style. I don't know, whatever. I'll have to think of some keywords, but I will still probably list this. And I think the ones I've seen listed were like around 30 to 35 or so. This guy right here, uh, he was $3. He is a radio flyer and he is the inchworm. I spent way too much time looking up Caterpillar. I don't know why I did that. He is an inchworm. Um, and I'm not sure if they're available on Amazon right now, but they used to be available at like Walmart and stuff and they're all sold out. They're out of stock. They're out of stock on Radio Flyer's actual website as well. So I don't know if they're not making them anymore. Um, but I've seen one sell locally, like a local pickup on eBay for 50 So definitely wanted to grab him for three and give him a 
try and I'll probably try and just flip him on Facebook Marketplace locally. All right, last but not least, we have some hats and some clothing. There's some contemporary clothing hiding in there and then a whole bunch, a bunch of like vintage stuff. So bear with me. So I'll take you through the hats quickly. Uh, most of these, if not all of them are vintage. So we have a Coca-Cola classic. Um, it's just a snapback, little paper tag. We have Budweiser. We have this one, 2000, so close to being vintage, <laughs> right? Uh, I have no idea what this is, but it was 25 cents. They were 25 cents, so occasionally I'll grab things just to research later, like I mentioned before, if they're really, really cheap. So Otis, don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up. Um, I guess this is, I'm guessing this is baseball. Yes, Major League Baseball. So I don't know what this team is specifically. If you know, let me know. I'm sure plenty of people will scream at me and that's fine. Um, but yeah, so grab that one. It's an old piece as well. Fall Creek uh, golf course. Some of them are very specific, obviously. Uh, North Myrtle Beach Golf Club. Stonehenge. I thought this one was cool. Powerade, like an sort of 80s, 90s Powerade uh, snapback hat. Thought that was kind of fun. Another Powerade one, older one. I think this is actually leather. And then Snake Pass with Marlboro on the side, Adventure Team. So I don't know what that is either, but they were really cool. They're 25 cents. I love to sell hats. I think they'll do fine. <laughs> All right, let's do the contemporary clothing really quickly. So this is an American Eagle soft and sexy in I think a size medium. It is just a t-shirt, but it's really cute with like this constellation uh, graphic on the front. This one is Velvet by Graham and Spencer, sometimes sold at Anthropology. Very, very pretty with the little embroidered flowers. This one is so soft, let me tell you. It's like a mustard yellow. It's super ruffly, super ruffly sleeves, like I'm sure you can tell just kind of looking at it. And then it is an anthropology piece. These were all, these pieces of clothing were all $2, by the way. So that's one of my favorites I found. Um, a little bright orange corduroy button-up skirt, very kind of 90s feeling by Vineyard Vines. Again, $2. And then we get into the vintage stuff. So all the sweatshirts were three, I think. And then the t-shirts were like two so we have a vintage enjoy coca-cola sweatshirt we have this one with the polar bear graphic again all vintage when i say vintage i'm talking really like 80s 90s here mostly 90s uh, another sort of santa coca-cola one which would should do quite nicely Okay, this is where it gets fun at least for me uh, so we have this tennessee vols uh what is it the cotton ball uh i think that graphic is so cool uh this one tennessee is rocky top country how fun are these that one is bike this one is my absolute favorite i love it so much <laughs> tennessee citrus ball in orlando but where the big orange look at this oh my goodness i just mm, these are, these are the things that i really enjoy finding what can i say i'm so glad he pointed me towards them as well okay we have welcome to the dog house an older t-shirt gator hater i don't know how old this one is maybe sort of more like 2000s on that one and then this one is an older one again but it definitely has some cracking to the graphics but it is a long sleeve Woo! okay i'm going to show you my one fail real quick um and then i'll let you go all right, so here is my fail. You may have seen me pick this up in the video. I paid $5 for it. It is a, I don't even know how to say that, F-U-N-A-I. It's a VHS player TV combo. Um, and not only does it not work, but it ate my VHS. So uh, I can't get it out. It's done for, that's fine. Sometimes you take a risk and it doesn't pay off. But is this would have been like about a hundred bucks or so as a flip, most likely, if it had been in working condition. It was worth it for the five dollars to give it a go i got plenty of other good stuff as well but it's just a shame that it didn't work all right you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here and you like thrifty content especially like yard sale with me's and hauls and things like that then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell notification so you know when the next video comes out we have daily videos going up at this point and i'll catch you in the next one bye you guys